It is almost that time of year again, tax season. Tomorrow is the first day you can begin e-filing your 2021 tax return. Financial expert Andrew Pulo says you don't necessarily need to rush out on Monday and e-file because you'll still be waiting weeks for your refund. Typically start off with a simple one, uh, 1040s with W-2s, uh, maybe with children on there, dependent children. And then as they progress over the next couple of weeks, they start to accept more complicated uh, returns, self-employment, gig you know, workers, freelancers, small business type of returns. Next, if you receive the advanced child tax credits, it's important to keep an eye on your mail. The IRS is sending out letter 6419 to everyone who received the credit between now and January 31st. It basically lists all the payments that they show as distributed paid out to you. Uh, the importance of this is that they have to reconcile, you have to reconcile these child tax credits on your tax return. And there is another letter to look out for in the mail, letter 6475. You will need that to reconcile the third stimulus payment you received last spring. If you filed for unemployment benefits last year, you'll need to report that as income, which is different from how the IRS handled it in 2020. In 2020, under the CARES Act, uh, Congress made unemployment uh, non-taxable. And so um, that was for specifically for 2020. They did not outline anything for 2021. And therefore, if someone received unemployment uh, compensation in tax year 2021, which is uh, we're filing uh, this season for 2021, uh, those that money will be uh, reported on the return uh, as income. Now, one of the biggest points Poulos made was to take your time and make sure you have all of your paperwork before you file. The deadline to file for most Americans is April 18th.